Getting the string perfect on your bow is an absolute art form. Here we're gonna go through some of the steps on how to get the string to the proper length and to your preferences. As a general rule of thumb, a long bow like this will be three inches shorter than the bow itself, and a recurve bow will be four inches shorter than the bow itself. But this does not account for your own personal preferences. You may want the string a different way, and this technique gives you the ability to get it exactly the way you want it. To show you how this works, we're gonna go ahead and take a measurement, and roughly, the string is about two inches away from the bow. You will also notice that the two brass beads that hold the knock on the string is also a little bit high. This technique will also allow us to adjust this perfectly up and down as well. The way we adjust the string are with these knots, and you'd be amazed how much slack these knots will take up. We will tie two knots, one on either side of the string. Just a simple overhand knot will work, and I try to keep the knots equally spaced. They don't need to be equally spaced, it just looks a little better. Now take the other side of the string and go ahead and place a knot there as well. Notice that this string is treated with natural beeswax to help preserve and keep the string strong. Now that we have tied these two knots, we're gonna take another measurement, four and a half inches. Now that's quite a distance for only two knots. Now we will knock an arrow and see if our brass beads are in the right place. The brass beads are too high, so we're gonna place a knot under these brass beads to lower them. Notice when you draw the arrow back, the knock will lower, so we need to take this into account. So we will take and tie another knot on the bottom of the string to lower these brass balls down a little bit more. Now when we check our measurement, we're at about five and a half inches from the bow to the string. Go ahead and knock an arrow on this new lowered position. I'm kind of liking this a lot better. Now the only true way to know if I'm gonna like this position is to take it out and actually shoot with it. Once I actually shoot the bow, I can adjust these knots differently if I feel I want different preferences. Once you get the string length perfect, you can have a new string made, or you could shoot with this one for a long time. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.